Hey guys, welcome to another video. It was a crazy day today with NBA Free Agency, so we're gonna look at all the top shot moments of players that have changed teams, and we're gonna cover this new quest that just dropped today as well. Let's get straight into it. All right guys, welcome to another episode been a bit of a crazy day with free agency and we've got a bit to get through so let's get straight into it first of all we had two new blogs today one is skewed towards new collectors and it's buy your first pack win an all-access pass sign jerseys and meet nba players basically what they are promoting is PlayerCon. And it's a new virtual event from the Basketball Players Association presented by Dapper Labs and NBA Top Shot. And if you start collecting today, you will be entered in to win some autographed swag along with some tickets to PlayerCon where you'll get the chance to meet these NBA players. So it gives you a link to purchase your first pack, which is this one here, just a simple base set pack. And it also has a link to the marketplace where you can purchase your first moment, if that is you. It features a roundtable discussion with current and former NBA players. They are going to provide some of the newest collectors with an all-access pass that includes player meet and greets, Q&A with players, and autographed memorabilia from current and former players. The blog for the rest of us who are well averse to all this sort of stuff is this one, the Showcase PlayerCon Quest. Basically, it introduces the new showcase quest. Do we want to meet the players? Yes, we do. Well, they're gonna let 100 collectors do that. It's a fully virtual event with an all access ticket, Q&A with players, Marvin Bagley III and Bogdan Bogdanovich, a piece of memorabilia autographed by an NBA player, full access to PlayerCon events and much, much more. PlayerCon is an event, blah, 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 players celebrating shared passions of music, fashion, activism, business, and more. PlayerCon will feature roundtable discussions again, NBA Top Shot is excited to send collectors to PlayerCon, blah, blah, blah. PlayerCon Quest can be completed by collecting one moment from each Marvin Bagley III, Harrison Barnes, Bogdan Bogdanovic, Andre Iguodala, <laughs> Andre Iguodala, CJ McCollum, representing two players in attendance at PlayerCon, Bagley and Bogdanovic, and three certified ballers from the MBPA executive board. That's why those players have been selected. Once you collect one moment from each player, create a showcase titled player con quest make sure the title is right these sometimes make the data scrape trip up if you don't exactly name it right everyone who completes the showcase quest by the august the 5th 2021 at 11 a.m pacific will be entered into the drawing of the player con all access tickets so super easy go to challenges showcase quests you'll see this player con one pop up, create my showcase. There is a simple one to seven step that you can read as well. But what happens is you got Marvin Bagley here. I'll do Harrison Bars because I have him. And you just click the moments in your collection that can go towards that showcase. I've also got a CJ McCollum here. And then once you get five out of five, name the quest, done. If you don't, what you can do is click on shop moments and go to the marketplace to pick up the moments that you need to complete the quest. It's not the most expensive quest. Having said that, in the top market movers of today, Marvin Bagley, Iguodala, McCollum, Bogdanovich, and Barnes, they are all the biggest market movers of the day because of this quest. As soon as it was announced, Iguodala, for instance, he went from $3 and his floor got to, I think, $6. So you can see all the transactions. He was about yeah, 50 40 29 yesterday was seven, 16 transactions and then bang, 1500 transactions today because of the showcase quest. And you can see all these dots here. They represent the transactions that happened today alone. You can see the floor get lifted and level back out at five bucks. So even though it got a bit of a, a lift and a bit of a pump today, it's still only five bucks. So if you just need a couple of moments and you fancy being a part of this event, go for it. If not, that's okay as well. Now, I want to talk about free agencies because it all kicked off today. Um, everyone was show <laughs> everyone was following who was going to get in there first between Shams and Woj and, and, <laughs> and all the bombs that dropped. But what does that mean for NBA Top Shot? Well, it means you're going to get a lot of new players in different jerseys. Now, I don't know how that makes you feel, but for me, when you start seeing a Kevin Durant in a Warriors or OKC jersey, it just looks old. It looks different. It looks weird now because we've seen him in a Nets jersey and that's where he currently plays. Now... All of these players I'm about to show you are also going to have that for me. They're all going to be wearing different jerseys and it's going to look weird when I look back at some of these moments that we have 
on the site. But that's just me. What, let me know in the comments what you think. Do your favorite players in different jerseys look weird to you? Like even LeBron in a Cavs jersey at this point. Like I'm used to seeing him in the Lakers for a couple of years now and wearing that jersey, even though he's had a stellar career and all that. So I'm going to use Top Shot to show you most of the major movers today. And we're going to look at them in their now former jerseys. So first of all, we had Lonzo Ball. He has gone to the Bulls for $85 million. Four-year, $85 million. Not bad for Lonzo Ball. Jared Allen is staying at the Cavs, so he's not moving. Um, $100 million. I mean, man, could these guys spare a million for a, a sarcastic Aussie YouTuber? Alec Burks is staying with the Knicks, so he's not changing jerseys. Currently, he only has his Top Shot debut here, so he's staying with the Knicks. Kelly Olynyk. This was an interesting one. Detroit Pistons, $37 million. Uh, three year. So he, I think, could be the first person to have four different jerseys in NBA Top Shot. I think Oladipo's got a few as well. But he's got the run it back in the Celtics. He's in me. He was in Miami just now, but he got traded to Houston. So he has a Houston moment. And now, theoretically, he might get a Detroit Pistons moment as well. So that's four teams in Top Shot. So I think that's possibly a record. Mike Conley, he is staying with the Jazz. So he's, we're also covering people that haven't changed jerseys. So if you've got Mike Conley in your Jazz complete collector score team set, you know, some of these are going to be safe as well. So Mike Conley re-signs 72.5 million. Wow. Now this was a big one. PJ Tucker left the Bucks to go to Miami. Surely Miami's a lifestyle choice at this point with Kyle Lowry, the most touted point guard of the day, wondering where he was going to go. He has chosen Miami to link up with Jimmy Butler, who also signed a pretty nice contract. Duncan Robinson is staying with the Heat as well. Good day for the Heat, really, if you think about it. <clears throat> New York Knicks signed Derek Rose, Evan Fournier, re-signed Nerlens Noel, as well as Alec Burks that we mentioned previously. So Evan Fournier, I'm probably a bit higher on him than some. Playing really well for France. He always plays really well for France. Um, NBA is not as high on him, but he is joining the Knicks. Doug McDermott is joining the Spurs for $42 million for three years. Gotta love that dough. Tory Craig, he is leaving the Suns. So my bright future Suns, the bag I'm holding. He does have a Denver moment. He's got, well, four Denver moments, as well as a Suns playoff moment. He was decent for them, and he is moving on. He's going to the Pacers. Chris Paul, this was another big one. Was he going to move? Was he going to stay? He is going to stay with Phoenix. He's got a lot of Phoenix moments, especially after this playoff run. A fair amount of OKC moments as well. But he is staying with the Suns, so that's really good for them. <laughs> Jeff Green. I mean, I don't know how many teams Jeff Green has played for, but it's a lot. It's practically, it must be half the NBA at this point. Someone tell me in the comments. But he has signed with the Denver Nuggets for $10 million. Mo Harkless is staying with Sacramento. Boban has re-signed with Marjanovic. He has re-signed with Dallas Mavericks, so he's staying with Luka. Right, and then this one was interesting. Dwight Howard is going back to the Lakers. So he's got Lakers moments and Philly moments, and now he's going back to the Lakers. And Kent Bazemore turned down more money at the Warriors to then flip and join the Lakers as well. And I've got to say, outside of the three that we know in the Lakers, um, I'm not that impressed with their team, especially after they lost Alex Caruso. He's going to Chicago. So the bald eagle, all of his LA moments, look at them all. There's, what, nine of them. He is moving to Chicago. So look, good for them. They might have a bit of an entertaining team now with the bald eagle. Tice is leaving Chicago. Where's he going again? Uh, Bobby Portis is staying with Milwaukee. That's good. Mike Muscala, who cares? Alex Len, what do you do? Oh yeah, Trevor Ariza. He's going back to the Lakers. He won a title with them in 2010, 2009? 2009, and then he left, I think. But he won a title with the Lakers already. So he's going back to the Lakers. So that's interesting. Feels like the Lakers are just filling the gaps with spare parts at the moment. Daniel Tice is going to Houston. Cody Zeller is going to the Portland Trailblazers. I mean, Arsenic. Arsenic, who has an amazing amount of Cody Zellers. Now he's, I don't know what he's going to do. Is he going to collect the Portland moments or is he going to just keep stacking the Charlotte ones? Reggie Bullock's gone to the Mavs for $30.5 million. Devontae Graham is going to the Pelicans. So he's taking Lonzo Ball's spot, linking up with Zion. So he is not going to have any more Charlotte moments. He's got seven so far and he is leaving for the Pels. 
Blake Griffin is staying with the Nets, so he has Pistons and Nets moments, more Nets than Pistons at this point, but he is staying with the Nets for one year. Trey Young signed a max deal, so you will not see him in a different jersey for a long, long time, but he is safe. He signed a max extension over 200 million, so woo. Rashawn Holmes, who I was on a stream with, he is staying with Sacramento. He got a bit of a bag, good for him. My mate, Spencer Dinwiddie, is going to the Washington Wizards. So he has a lot of Brooklyn moments here. So he has a lot of Brooklyn moments. Obviously, he got injured this year, but he has signed with the Washington Wizards. And last time he last time he played a full season, he averaged more than 20 points a game. So good pickup for them. To Norman Powell has re-signed with the Portland Trailblazers. So he is staying there. So he already has Raptors moments and Portland moments, but he's staying in Portland, so that's good. Montres Harrell and Kyle Kuzma. Obviously, the blockbuster trade that happened before free agency was they got traded for Russell Westbrook. So all the Kuzmas and Harrells we're used to for the Clippers and the Lakers, they are now on the Wizards. And of course, Westbrook, triple double machine, is on the Lakers. And I imagine, again, I'm going to get used to seeing Russell Westbrook wearing a different jersey again, wearing a Lakers jersey. It'll look weird at first. It always looks weird at first. But then, I don't know, halfway through the season, we're going to be used to it. And then we're going to look back at these moments. And I don't know, I, they always just look old when I look back at people wearing old jerseys from old moments. But maybe that's just me. Let me know in the comments what you think. Hey, I've got a really special video for you coming up tomorrow. Stick around for that. I have a very special guest. Don't forget also, we have a nice little Discord community going on. If you want to engage with lots of people, get questions answered, help each other. It's shared with Top Shot Talk, the other YouTube channel I collaborate with quite often. And the link for that is in the description below. So feel free to join and join a really cool bunch of people that we have going on in there. Anyway, that's it from me. Look out for the special Special video tomorrow. If you got any value out of this one, please consider liking and or subscribing. It really helps the channel and hit the bell for Jacob tomorrow. Have a good one. Don't forget to blink and give your refresh button a break. Don't buy out of FOMO and be nice to each other. Have a good day. See ya.